K2M is a spinal orthopedic device company. So we make spinal implants that a surgeon will use to treat um, really any spinal pathology, ranging from scoliosis, so that's curvature of the spine. That's really our flagship focus. 3D Systems really became our partner when we were looking at uh, off-the-shelf items, um, things like inner body devices that we sell right now, but uh, trying to make them in a more advanced material that's better for bone healing. Uh, as we started this project, we realized that 3D printing of titanium was becoming more popular and actually being, becoming more routinized. And so we saw that as a new technology that we could incorporate into the spine. Uh, so we worked really closely with 3D Systems as we identified you know, what we wanted to do in a device and then how we could do it and really uh, honing in on the parameters as far as porosity, uh, amount, pore size, surface roughness, what we could control and optimizing that for, uh, for bone activity. So I would say that 3D Systems has really been a, uh, a great partner from beginning to end. So K2M even though we have a ton of spine expertise, we had no expertise or no knowledge really in 3D printing of titanium. So we saw it as a technology, but we didn't know how to actually capitalize on that. So we started working with 3D Systems early on, and, uh, and they really guided us through this whole understanding of what we can and cannot do with 3D printing of titanium, and brought us, you know, hand in hand, we developed what became our final product in the inner body devices. Now, with the 3D printed titanium, we're actually able to make a device that becomes part of the fusion mass. So you get bone to grow and integrate into all the pores here. So the actual porosity, the, the size of the holes here, as well as the surface roughness, are based off of a lot of literature research from the orthopedic space, whether it's in uh, hips and knees uh, for hip replacements, um, or in dental space for surface roughness. The characteristics that we've incorporated into these inner body devices are really based off of the biology and the research that's out there. So to try to make the best environment possible for bone to grow.